on a scale of zero to 10. How full is your love tank? If you said anything less than 10, what I'm gonna share with you today can be extremely helpful. I've been involved in counseling couples for over 40 years, and here's a scenario that happens in my office over and over again. The wife will say, I just feel like he doesn't love me. And the husband will say, I don't understand that. I do this and this and this. Why would you not feel loved? I realized years ago that what makes one person feel loved does not make another person feel loved. And what makes you feel loved will not necessarily make your spouse feel loved. I realized eventually, looking over years of notes that I made, that when a, someone said in my office, I feel like my spouse doesn't love me, the question was, what did they want? What were they complaining about? And their answers fell into five categories. I later call them the five love languages. The secret to keeping the love tank full is speaking the love language of your spouse. So I'm gonna ask you a personal question. On a scale of zero to 10, how full is your love tank? If you said anything less than 10, what I'm gonna share with you today can be extremely helpful. I wanna share with you the five love languages. One of those love languages is words of affirmation. Using words to affirm the other person. You look nice in that outfit. One of the things I like about you, just simply looking for things you can affirm in the other person. There's an ancient Hebrew proverb that says life and death is in the power of the tongue. You can kill your spouse by the way you talk to them, or you can give them life. Words of affirmation. Now, I encountered one lady who said to me, Dr. Chapman, I know it would be good if I could give my husband some positive words, but to be honest with you, I can't think of anything good to say about the man. <laughs> I said, well, does he ever take a shower? <laughs> and she said, yes. I said, how often? She said, well, every day. I said, if I were you, I'd start there. You know, I appreciate you taking a shower, honey. <laughs> there are men who don't. I've never met a man, never met a woman. You couldn't find something good to say about them. So for some people, this is their love language. And if you give them critical words, it's like a dagger in their heart. You know, ladies, you can give your husband life if you give him a positive comment. You can give him death if you give them a negative comment. And the same thing is true with the wife. If this is their love language, nothing is more important than words of affirmation. A second love language is gifts. It's universal to give gifts as an expression of love. My academic background before I studied counseling was anthropology. I did an undergrad and a master's degree in anthropology, the study of cultures. We have never discovered a culture where gift giving is not an expression of love. It's universal to give gifts. You see, the gift says, they were thinking about me. Look what they got for me. Now, the gifts do not have to be expensive. Haven't we always said it's the thought that counts? But I remind you, it's not the thought left in your head that counts. It's the gift that came out of the thought in your head. You know, during the summertime, you can get free flowers. You know, guys, do what your kids do. Go out in the backyard and pick one. Every mother has received a dandelion from their, from, their, from their children. I'm not suggesting that. I'm suggesting go pick a flower. If you don't have flowers in your yard, go to your neighbor's yard. But ask them, and they'll give you a flower. Or you could go to a funeral and <laughs> ask the family if they would give you a rose. It doesn't have to be expensive. We really are thinking in terms of the other person. But what you want to do, if you discover that your spouse's love language is receiving gifts, you want to keep a list of the kind of things they say, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, I'd like to have one of those. Keep a list, not just for special days. Certainly, you don't want to miss birthdays and anniversaries. But if this is their love language, you want to give gifts on non-important days. It's a powerful way of saying to them, I love you you. In the second segment, I'm going to share the other three love languages with you. I want you to figure out, I want you to figure out what your love language is. 